10,000. Here's a chance. The best dressed auctioneers in Adelaide selling the best dressed rams in the nation. The number of bidders at the premier ram sale in the country halved by pandemic restrictions on interstate buyers. We normally have four states represented here and um, that there are some uh, orders in from interstate so I think, I think they'll still be in the market but certainly not the, the volume of interstate buyers here to, to push, push the prices up. Ram buyers like Leonie Mills from the Air Peninsula are optimistic about the industry, even though it's taken a hit from the pandemic. Wool, of course, has, has taken the biggest um, knock from, from uh, the COVID effect. So um, that's, yeah, I mean, that's probably about 40 to 50 per cent. So that's, that's been probably a fairly um, hard pill to swallow. There's also concern about Australia's diplomatic stoush with China affecting the billion dollar wool trade. Producers say there's been too much reliance on China and the industry needs to develop new markets. I think it's quite possibly like India may become a, a bigger player than they have been previously. So uh, depending on you know what the Chinese, which way they decide to go. So um, yeah, I th oh, there's options out there. China's, um, they're, they're still processing, they're still, their mills are still running at the moment. Um, and, and markets are being sought after elsewhere. So, um, you know, it's a developing thing. I think, I think this does bring home the need to diversify with the markets. This ram has sold for $46,000. Another has sold for 70, but they're not expecting to break last year's record of 100,000, partly because of the drop in the wool price. But that hasn't put a dent in the stoic optimism of these primary producers. I think cautiously optimistic would be a good way to put it. Everyone here will be even more optimistic if there's some good spring rain. Michael Coggan, ABC News, Adelaide.